Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one Noli, and today we're going to be going into the upcoming content for Developer Inside for Pirates Online. So the, dev the devs haven't really been uh, like talking a lot right now. They've been kind of like to themselves, kind of working on some things. So I'm kind of interested to see what's coming. So let's get into it. The crew addresses community concerns, shares info regarding upcoming content and features. Okay. All right, let's see. This insider is to address some of our plans for this year. Many of you have expressed your concerns over lack of updates this year, and we hear you. The truth is we've been working on a ton of features that could that you should see soon. Several features have been a massive undertaking, which is why you haven't been seeing many updates. The group decided it would be a great idea to... Okay, so they, they just basically making this just to, you know, ease everybody's, like, you know, concerns and seeing... Because some people will probably be, oh, they abandoned the game up. Oh, there's no updates or anything. You know, you probably get some of that, like, now and then. They're not doing anything, you know, shit like that. That's actually like actual dev concerns like sometimes with their games so it is actually pretty good that they're con that they're kind of addressing it but the first update is apparently cannon defense is coming cannon defense is the first feature you should see you should be seeing in the near future as we mentioned in the past insider post there are a few crashes related to panda 3d engine that we are fixing besides those crashes Canada Defense is looking great and we plan on releasing it soon. Okay, nice. One of the main issues we have seen on the forums are players frustrated about the lack of inventory space forcing them to trash their quest rewards. Okay, before I keep reading, easy solution to this would probably be a bank so people can store their stuff in. You know, you can always add a new vendor who has like a big vault to where you can just like well not a vault more of like a hmm more just like a storage container you know pretty much like the one that the will is in but it's been changed to like a training ground but sort of more, somewhat like a storage room you know you can always make it one of those empty buildings into one or something like that but let's see if they what they thought of Okay, they decided a solution by allowing these items to be resold at a new quest reward vendors. So if you're throwing out, okay, I guess then that's a special hat you get. Okay, yeah, it's a special hat you get from Raven's Cove quest. I have not been there yet. But for example, you can now purchase it again from the vendor inside of the okay so if as long as you finish the quest you can repurchase it is what i'm guessing but how much would that cost that's the real question of how much quest items are going to cost it's considering they're quest items you've already earned them if you're throwing them out okay quest items including clothes weapons tattoos jewelry will be available for purchase. This feature has been extensively tested and will be released in our next update. Ah, oh, nice, nice. All right, next. A letter change that we hope to make involves our massive 64-bit overhaul known as Pepperoni. Weird name, but all right. <laughs> But I think right now we're do we're on like 32 bits is what I want to say. I'm not too sure which one we're on, but yeah. To catch up any of those who aren't aware of what this is, Pepperoni is a huge overhaul of our behind the scenes functions. It should improve frame rate. Oh, nice graphics. Oh my, hold up. So I can make the game look better? Huh. Or how much is the graphics actually going to change? That's the real question. 
I'm kind of interested to see and make the game run much smoother overall. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Frame rate fix and smoothness. That's kind of what I've complained about in most of my videos. I'm sorry, but you know, <laughs> it's being worked on. Uh, okay, let's see. This overhaul has gone very well on our testing server and we are making a few more fixes with it before it is ready for public. I'm not sure how many is a few more fixes, but you know, I'm looking forward to it. We have heard your reports of various issues with evasions, including with Jolly Roger. These are being addressed with our developers and fixes have been made on our test server. These fixes as well as implementing evasions on, okay, the Volcano Island will now get the evasions as well. That's what I was wondering because the Volcano Island I noticed never got the invasion and that's where I would see most of the invasions. And those were tedious as hell because there were so many points that they came out of. Uh, we'll be coming soon, okay. For our PvP and ship versus ship players, if you guys are wondering what SVS means, it's just basically ship versus ship. We are aware of the issues you have been experiencing and we appreciate your bug reports. We will be addressing these bugs. A pesky bug regarding explosives. I wonder what that is since I don't PvP, to be honest. I don't even think I didn't even think there were a lot of like PvP people. We also have plans to overhaul the lookout system. The host lookout system. If anybody knows what the lookout system is, let me know. As well later this year. But that is still in early stages. We'll have more information soon. Okay, cool. Cool. What's the last bit? The crew also uh, has some content surprises that may appear later this year. We have a we have made a few hints in game about the surprises. Hopefully you've been paying attention. I have not, to be honest. All I've noticed is fireworks. <laughs> that, that's the only thing I've noticed. <laughs> Thank you all for your continued patience with us. Let's see what everybody's saying. Oh, there's only four people who said so. Hmm. Okay, overall, I'm happy that they're actually, um, they actually put this out. And they're actually talking a little bit. Interesting. They're probably talking more in the forums, which, eh, I, I don't really talk inside of forums. But I do, like, you know, creep around. Might as well do that with this game, too, since I am enjoying myself. So, things I'm looking forward to is definitely the pepperoni, like, overhaul thing. And, uh, what else? I guess I'm willing to try out cannon defense, since I've never actually done it. And a new quest vendor thing is actually pretty nice. I'm just worried about how much is it going to cost. That's the thing that we're going to have to see when it's released. But, overall, pretty interesting. All right, with that said, you guys let me know what you guys are most excited about and I'll, you know, read it. Just give me a reason why you guys are excited about it. <laughs> but until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Where it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose?